So before I begin reading this story to you, I want you to have a think about something that you really, really love to do. What's something that you enjoy? So for example, mine is, and I've actually only recently discovered this about myself, but I love cooking, particularly baking. What's something that you like to do? You can pause the video here if you like and have a think. Now I want you to think about something that you find quite challenging or maybe a goal you would like to set yourself, something that you would like to be able to do. For example, for me, and I think you all know this about me, is uh, I find drawing really, really tricky. So I've been working on my drawing skills. So that's my goal. Okay, you can, again, you can pause the video here and have a think about that. And I'm going to introduce you to one of my favorite stories and it's called Giraffes Can't Dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully bandy and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now every year in Africa they hold a jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. He's very clumsy, poor Gerald. The warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled the lions danced the tango, which was elegant and bold. The chimps all did the cha-cha with a very Latin feel, and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely and then walked towards the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all laughed. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, don't be so daft. It's not very kind, is it? Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before. So sad and all alone. Poor Gerald. It's awful to feel lonely and miserable like that, isn't it? They're being very unkind to him. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, <coughs> coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is the branches in the breeze. So imagine that you feel, sorry, so imagine that lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then Gerald, Gerald did a backward somersault and leapt into the air. Wow, look at him now. He's got some impressive moves there, doesn't he? 
Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I'm dancing! Yes, I'm dancing! I'm dancing, Gerald cried. He looks delighted now. He must feel so proud of himself. Then, one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived with Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer we'd ever seen. Oh, sorry, I've got to show you the pictures. Look at him go. He's got some seriously good moves, doesn't he? It's like Miss Harlan the dance floor. How is it you can dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We can all dance, he said, when we find the music we love. And that is one of my favourite stories because in the beginning, Gerald found dancing really, really challenging. He wasn't able to dance at all, really. And he felt quite upset with himself. And then he went away and he found a song that he was able to dance with too. And he practised and he practised. And at the end of the story, he'd met his goal and he was feeling really, really proud of himself. So on the next page now, I'm going to explain to you what our activity is today.